The Fed's quantitative tightening is making low liquidity and high volatility in the $20 trillion US Treasury debt market worse. It has moved from being the largest marginal buyer, around 40% of the market, to a net seller. And as the Fed enters 2023 with additional rate hikes on the table, it may be forced into halting the sale of treasuries and mortgage-backed securities in order to shore up financial markets and prevent instability in the crucial treasury and overnight repo markets. Certainly liquidity problems have been brewing in the treasury market for some time, but there is a risk that the more QT is done, the more acute these problems might become. The Federal Reserve raised alarm bells last year warning in its financial stability report of the systemic issues posed by declining liquidity. It noted that market liquidity had declined since late 21 in the markets for recently issued US cash, treasury securities and for equity index futures and that while the recent deterioration had not been as extreme as in some past episodes, the risk of a sudden significant deterioration appears higher than normal. However, the Fed will be reluctant to stop QT since a large chunk of the $5 trillion pandemic QE is responsible for today's inflation. You must accept that shrinking the balance sheet is an important tool alongside rate hikes to curb inflation. And this goes to the heart of the dilemma facing the Fed next year. You press on with QT until something breaks or you back off and inflation persists for longer.